Hi guys and welcome. You're joining me today for a charity haul. If you're new to my channel, a big warm welcome to you. And if you're one of my regular Bambinas, thank you so much for coming back. This is the haul that I've recently got and including the hat that I'm wearing. Now I've only bought this today and I did see it in a shop yesterday and I was umming and awing about it. I did try it on in the shop and I thought it's quite cute. Would I wear it? Won't I wear it? But I paid £2.99 for it and to be honest with you, I've got a feeling my eldest daughter is going to try and catch this when she sees it. But I think that's a pretty cute velvet flat cap that it's originally from New Look. And like I said, I paid 2 99 for that. It's in great, great condition on the inside and the out. So that was a buy that I actually went back for today. But I was passing the shop. I didn't deliberately just go back to the shop. I was passing it. Now, another thing that I got from a shop and... I think this is the only thing I got in that shop when I get and it's it's a picture now it is it's it's a nice picture that's in it but I haven't bought it for the picture as this is I've bought it for the frame because it's a proper wooden frame and I haven't decided yet whether I'm going to paint it and distress it or whether I'm going to leave it this color because it does it's the similar color wood to what my bookcase is so I could leave it as is but my plan is to take that out put a photograph in it because it's got a lovely freeze in it and i paid a pound for that so anybody that buys frames regularly knows that they can be quite pricey uh, so to pick one up at a pound um it's quite a good steal isn't it i picked this up this is the only thing i bought in this one particular shop and it's just a prima pattern and it's for uh, wide leg culottes or wide leg trousers. Now, I will make the wide leg trousers on that here. And I paid 20 pence for that pattern. So that was a bargain, wasn't it? In another shop, again, it's another prima pattern because you do find these regularly. They're what's been took out of the magazines. And this is a peasant top. And I do like pe peasant tile stops. So this is the style of top that it is. And that pattern was actually 50 pence. So I've already got some fabric in mind to make that one. So I'll be doing that video when I get it out. Now, another shop that I went in, I bought two items in this shop. And this is a lovely top. It's a top that won't need ironing, which we all love, don't we? It's Marks and Spencer one. And I paid £3 for that. But that's going to look so cute with either white trousers, black trousers or a small pair of jeans. Um, so I was pleased with that and then in the same shop I picked up a healthier comfort food feel good recipe with fewer calories books this was a pound and I was looking at it in shop because I have got a lot of cookery books that don't come out often so I thought shall I shanta and then I thought you know what it's a pound take it but then when I sat looking through it yesterday afternoon this is one one dish that i'm going to be making and it's the crunchy nut pad thai chicken salad now when me and kevin went to bangkok um a few years ago we had this dish which is very very similar if not the same as what this dish looks so i'm quite excited to try that because we went to this um eating place several times and we had this dish every time because it was so gorgeous so i'm hoping that that is the same dish but that's the first dish i'm going to be trying from this book a pound bargain i picked up a bunch of gray silvery feathers and these were two pound and there's quite a lot in there and what i'm planning to do with these is i've got a cream feather boa so i'm going to wash it fluff it up in the dryer and i'm planning to swag it over my mirror in my living room i think but what I'm planning to do with these is, is like either make a fan or even a circle um, and then put in them where the, where the garland swags over the mirror. I'm going to put one in the corner there, one there and maybe one in the centre. Uh, so when I do this, I will film it so you can actually see how it turns out. But for £2, there's quite a lot of feathers in there. This was an item that I just, this was the only item that I bought in this shop. Now, my youngest sister, I gave her a baby spider plant last summer. And when I saw her a couple of weeks ago, it is coming on amazing and thriving. 
and I said to it, it needs to go into a bigger pot now so I bought this I only paid a pound for this and it's a lovely little white detailed bowl plant pot not bowl plant pot so I'm going to put a bigger you know the pots that you repot them into full of soil and then give it a like that so she can be, literally just transfer it straight into that bigger pot now this particular one is such a beautiful colour isn't it and it's one of my daughter's favourite colours so I was looking at this and then I left it but then again I'd gone back um, to pick my mum up and then as we were driving past I said you know what I'm going to nip back in and get that plant pot so what I've done is it's all washed through uh, so it's all nice and clean I paid £2.80 for this but I'm going to give it a raise it's going to be one of the little birthday presents that she gets so that because she's got lo lots of plants my youngest daughter as my eldest one has so uh, she can repot or um, use it for a new plant but she's going to love that at £2.80 now one shop I went into there was like a you know like a big plastic container one of these big ones and it was just full I reckon somebody in the house had just done a really big declutter and it was full of things like these what I'm going to show you but these jars these particular ones were two for a pound and they've got a screw lid I've already got sweets in them I put pear drops in them but the bottoms can you see how it's just fancy glass and at 50 pence each they are lovely aren't they and initially i didn't think am i going to put buttons in it or beads or something but then i bought a packet of pear drops and i thought so i keep one with my sewing machines out and one in my living room uh, but I, again i'm tempted to paint the lids white and distress them because there's quite a bit of detail on them but i still might do that at some point in future but what a bargain at 50 pence each these two little tea lights are actually yankee candle now i think do these retail for about 7.99 each and these were a pound each and these look absolutely beautiful when they've got a candle in they really really do look beautiful in fact i'll light them later put one in and light them so you can actually see how they, they light up and glow in the in when it's darker but at a pound each got you've got mother of pearl around here and then your beautiful crackle glass um they look beautiful Now I actually picked up some trim, uh, there's three different lots there, I'll just bring it close so you can see, so you've got like a pearl effect, a gold robe and like a silver bead and I think these were a pound each and on this one, this one's not even been, been opened, it's got 10 metres on, that one says five but I think a little bit's been used to that and then I don't know, I think there'd probably be, there'd be more on that because it's a bigger roll but they are chunkier beads so maybe not so I don't know what I am going to use these for but I do know that if I need anything when I need to trim something up at the price I got them great buy now another shop that I went in one two three I got well it's the same shop actually that I got this for so I went in and bought these first but then went back and picked this up and there was a lovely brand new it's a brand new white um, lampshade and I think this is Ikea I'm sure it's Ikea and I said to woman I says oh I says how much is that because there's no price on it she says isn't there a price in it love I went no anyway she went and asked Gaffer and she basically says it's two pound and I thought for two pound I'm going to take that because uh, my standard lamp that I've got on my hallway upstairs, um, I'm sort of going off that lampshade, so I'm going to try this one on there. Now, when I, I, I left that behind the counter, she says, can I leave that there, and she said, yeah left it on side it till until I was ready to pay for it but then when I looked around shop and I got back to the counter they've got a, a big like wicker 50p basket now there was this in it which has never been opened it's still got the tag there um so that's quite cute now I don't know whether I will use it or not but even if I don't that can be gifted on to someday but 50 pence 
Now, I also picked up, and I've been fancying some of these, and the, you know, like the, the, you put them in your wardrobe, so you hang them on your rail, and you've got two, four, six spaces here you hang your clothes on, and then you drop it. So instead of you having these six coat hangers that's taking that distance, it drops, so they all come down. So there was four of these. So again, 50 pence each. Um, I thought I'm going to try them and see how I get on with them. Because I need room in the wardrobe. So if I can squeeze some across, great. Now, last but not least, I picked this up. Um, I was going to the supermarket the other day and there's a charity shop on end. It's a Barnardo's one, I think. And this was on the very top shelf. So I said to the fella behind the counter, can I have a look at that um, picture thing you've got up on? He went, yeah, I'll get you that. Now, get past this. Because all this is going. What I plan on doing is I'm going to paint this white and I'm going to paint it with a roller so it's got a bit of texture on it. And then I may distress down the edges here because you've got four separate pieces on it. Now I'm going to get a, a photograph printed off. I haven't picked which one I want yet, but I'm going to stick a photograph in the middle and then I'm going to commission my eldest daughter to work a magic because she's amazing. Both my daughters are fantastic when it comes to art. But with our pages, you can get creative and think outside the box, but she goes past the box. Seriously. Some of her work has been out of this world. So I'm going to put a photograph in the centre and then I'm going to ask her to... She, what she does is from a photograph, she'll extend the photograph by painting it outwards. And she doesn't know yet because I haven't, I haven't asked, her, asked her yet, but I'm sure she'll... Um, she'll do it for me so this is the plan and when i actually start this journey with this project i will bring you along so when i start painting it i'll show you uh putting the photograph on it and then i will show you it after pages work to magic because if you are an artist um this will this will show you what you can do by doing what i want doing on here and it's just to be that good at art and, and do what she does, it will make this a pretty amazing piece to be on my wall. This was £3, but because there was some, um, some that's been spilt on it there, uh, the fella said you can have it for £2 if you want it. So straight away, I wanted it. I wanted it because it's got this where there's four pieces and it's going to be unusual because I did actually say to my youngest daughter, I think what I might do with the photograph is cut it up into pieces so that they come there and then basically she taught me out. She, she said, I won't do that, Mum. She said, I would leave it as one photograph and then let Paige do what she does from that. So uh, I'm not going to do that anymore. But I am so excited to see this finished and done. But do need to choose a photograph and get it printed so that like i say to say i paid two pound for that gonna look great when it's done but i'll bring you along for the journey so guys that is my latest charity hauls and once again some pretty pretty cheap and amazing items like i said these i've been wanting to try these for a while now so now i've got some um I can set about using them, see how I get on with them. So I hope you've enjoyed this share, guys, with my latest charity hauls. Let me know what you think some of my bargains. So thanks for joining me, guys. Take care for now, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.